What's up gamers? My name is Ayushi and we are back in some more trove. Just doing a normal let's play episode for once. It's been a while since we ended up doing this on my main account. And it actually looks like somebody's inviting us to the Geo top side. I was actually going to get some of our uh, adventure chests done for today because it's actually been a little while since I did it. Uh, I, I wanted to kind of have this as a special, like, we're, we're back kind of thing. Uh, I already talked about in my other video mentioning how I incidentally am going to be doing more regular episodes of my alt account. But I also want to just do my main account as well. Obviously, you know, there's still going to be the call for me doing live streams and stuff like that. But I want to just kind of focus my attention on having more consistent videos across the board with Trove. Just because I know that I haven't really been delivering on that lately. And I mean, I talked about it in my last uh, New Beginnings episode basically saying that uh, I was taking a break from Trove for a little while. And that still kind of is applying. I'm trying to get things a little bit more regular. And that's what today's video is going to be about. Because we're going to kind of, you know, talk about everything related to the channel like all the games that i'm playing uh the plans my trip that i've got coming up in february and i just want to kind of get you guys all caught up with everything okay so now more recently like i think it's hilarious how this always happens with me whenever i'm playing trove like uh, i i literally had a video talking about how I don't have anything to do on my main account so I'm going to start dedicating more attention to my alt account and then literally after that we get a patch <laughs> that ends up fixing Leviathan's like what the fuck man so now uh, I actually have something to do on my main account and I mean I'm I'm ecstatic about it honestly because they fixed Leviathan's and it's just it's great dude like now we can actually farm them and have a good time and I can actually grind towards something other than just doing dungeons and the usual boring stuff, you know? Because I've already grinded thousands upon thousands of dungeons. But that doesn't mean that I don't want to not uh, give any attention to my alt uh, account. Because uh, I do like, you know, I do like that we're starting at the beginning with that account and just actually grinding for XP and junk like that. Man, our... Uh, Subclass ability is triggering an awful lot. I should get that to trigger. Well, I already did uh, in my last stream anyways, where we were fighting Leviathans. I got it to trigger and then put the big head ego potion on as well. This is, um, I don't know if this is enough damage, dude. Like we might not be doing enough. So anyways, um, what we're going to be talking about is just the other games on the channel more so than just Trove, but... Somebody in-game is talking about how they only just found my YouTube channel, so I want to take the opportunity to mention, if any of you guys, for whatever reason, are brand new to Trove and this is your first video, please use the sign-up link in the description because that is just an awesome way that you can end up supporting me by just playing the game because basically it just makes it so that anything you buy out of the cash shop, I'll make a percentage of it and it doesn't impede your progress or increase the value of anything in the cash shop for you guys at all. It's just a great way that you can help me and I want to give big shout outs to Game Ago, not only for that, but just for actually following through and listening to the demands of players like the Leviathan fix was something that everybody wanted for a while, you know, and it's just... Yeah, it's nice that we actually ended up getting not only a fix, but directly what we already mentioned, where we just have the Leviathan boxes now that we can open after the dungeon is defeated. You guys know all this stuff. Uh, so you'll notice that today this troll video is a little bit late. Uh, and on top of that, I haven't had a Dragon Ball episode come out. So I do I do still recommend, like, if you guys are into Trove, I think you might be pleasantly surprised with the Dragon Ball Kakarot game, because it's kind of similar. I know that I say that a lot about the games that I enjoy, but I, I think that the games that I enjoy are just kind of similar. There's certain values to them that I, uh, you know, find particularly interesting. And with that game, it's just the fact that it's very grindy and we kind of are just exploring the world. And it's, it's kind of like Trove in that exploring the world doesn't technically serve a purpose, but you know, like it's just, it's cool to do. And I like that. Um, but I, like, I want to kind of break the fourth wall and be honest with you guys. So what uh, normally happens with newer games, like, I kind of have been experimenting and going through a big, big transitional period with my channel and trying to figure out what works. Because obviously, you know, Trove is one thing, but I still 
strongly would like my other videos to be just as successful because even though uh, you know I'm known as the trove guy mainly on you know with this channel and everything like that and technically speaking I could probably just swap the entire channel over to being a hundred percent trove that's not why I started doing YouTube. I just enjoy playing video games for you guys, period, and doing videos on all of this stuff, you know? So that's always the main goal. And, uh, you know, I still want to keep running Trove just because I still enjoy it. Um, but anyways, I'm rambling now, so sorry. What I'm trying to say is that what I tried experimenting with uh, is with more recent games, obviously, it's very, very difficult to break into the crowd. I'm surprised we actually did that, boss. Woohoo! Uh, it's very difficult to break into an otherwise established audience with all these games. You know, like with the Dragon Ball game, for example, it's like, what the heck? Like, nobody's going to be coming to my channel searching for the Dragon Ball game when there's so many other channels that already had the game early or, uh, you know, most channels on YouTube now where it's like a warehouse house of people and they get everybody in their studio to rush through the game as quick as possible so that they can have all of the clickbait titles show the last boss immediately as soon as the game gets released and the embargo is gone and it's just it's annoying dude like you can't keep up as an individual to all this shit it's ridiculous so what i've been trying to do is just experiment with the way that i approach it to be a little bit more different uh and one thing that i noticed when i was doing uh my star wars series more recently my star wars jedi fallen order is that uh with that game i had the first episode go up the day of the release of the game and then i had it as a daily series and for a while there, everybody was checking it out. There, there is a point to this story. For a while, everyone was checking it out because at least it was relevant. It was coming out every single day, right? And then I kind of got a little bit sidetracked. It got a little bit busy uh, and didn't have time to honestly edit most of the videos. So it stopped. Uh, I stopped having it as a daily series for a little while. Is that? Oh, I thought that was another... Uh, quest icon over there. Uh, I stopped having it for a uh, daily series for a little while and immediately the relevancy of the Jedi Fallen Order series just it plummeted, right? Not to say that it was a particularly popular series in the first place, but when I'm playing a game that I enjoy, you know, I just I enjoy the heck out of it and I don't worry about all that stuff. And that's kind of something that I came to where I wanted to uh, it's like I'm doing YouTube for a living, thankfully, thanks to all of you guys that are watching the ads, buying the merch, uh, you know, buying the stuff with Trove uh, affiliate link and stuff like that. You guys are still keeping it going and uh, uh, literally giving me the opportunity to live the dream, right? And the thing is that I'm still doing YouTube full time, but I'm kind of unsubscribed from what YouTube, uh, you know, what is successful in YouTube. I know that that might not make sense and it's kind of counterintuitive, but basically YouTube really, really pushes higher numbers. So higher views, higher sub count, higher minutes watched, all of this shit. And, and that all gets shown into the recommendations and et cetera, et cetera. I'm just looking for the other quest here in the Highlands area. And when I made the decision to start swearing in my content, it wasn't so much about swearing in my content. It was about being more genuine with myself and more genuine with my content. And let me tell you, the most stressful part of being a YouTuber is as soon i think in all honesty it's as soon as you start making money because you start worrying that you're going to lose it because it is a very very unstable profession uh, especially with all the drama that goes on with youtube themselves you know the most recent thing was the coppa act which was uh has already been implemented on youtube and thankfully i haven't seen any ramifications for it i didn't expect to honestly speaking uh, i think it was just another big big topic of discussion that everyone wanted to blow out of proportion uh youtube is fun Fine and going to be fine you know as much as youtube fucks over content creators left and right and unfortunately the cop act has affected a lot of channels the fact of the matter is that youtube itself in the way that it's designed is just fundamentally flawed but there is like no competition like what's the closest thing that we've got for content creators twitch and I mean, in all honesty, Twitch kind of sucks. Like all you can do is, it's great for live streaming, don't get me wrong, um, but it's pretty much in the same boat as YouTube, I would say, where it's a little too corporate, you know? 
So th the point that I'm trying to get at with these this rant is uh, with me deciding to swear in my channel and just be more honest with you guys, I wanted to take a bit more of a back seat to not worrying as much and not stressing out as much, like kind of accepting the fact that I have no control over what ends up happening with the channel. I mean, obviously, like I said, you know, if I wanted to just completely dive into Oh, it's all about the money i would just be playing trove every single day on the channel and that would be it you know because obviously it gets the most views and everything like that but that's not me and that's kind of what i came to and why uh you know why i kind of took a bit of a break from trove was just because i wanted to have a more genuine experience with you guys and just play the games that i want to play and i know that the more hardcore fans appreciate that more i've been uh, i think a, a lot more communicative with you guys in not only my videos uh but just the way that i express myself in my content and then just also like in the discord and chilling with you guys and stuff uh not to mention just more random videos that I find fun as a project, like whenever I'm doing Grand Theft Auto and stuff like that, which uh, I, I haven't been doing Grand Theft Auto regularly on the channel. I want to, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, my point is, though, that I'm being very organic with how I approach my content lately, and I myself have just been feeling the repercussions, or not repercussions, um, I've been feeling the positive side effects of that like tenfold, you know, like my life and thus my job is just like way less stressful because I'm not worrying about like the money and all that crap. Obviously, you know, I'm not getting paid as much uh, from this decision, but I overall think that my channel is going to be better for it. You know, whether that means less views doesn't really worry me as much as it may have in the past because, you know, YouTube in itself mentally uh, is is a trick you know it tricks people into well do this stuff because then you end up getting more money and more money means success which means that by having more views and by having more money uh, I think that a lot of youtubers use that as a way to justify themselves and the content that they're producing because obviously you know it's a direct correlation uh, but I myself didn't get into YouTube for the money or any of that stuff. You know, I didn't get into it to be successful. I that's the dream, obviously. And I'm I'm already living it right now by being able to have a full time uh, living from doing YouTube. You know, I've got my two pugs. Uh, I'm not starving or anything like that. It's like I can't really ask for more. I can I can pretty much get most games that I want to play and I can just live my life, you know? I mean, outside of not being able to afford a house, but I mean, who the fuck can afford a house in this economy? You know what I mean? Especially in Canada. Uh, but that that eventually, you know, that's, that's long into the future stuff. Uh, that's kind of irrelevant to what we're talking about today. So, with all of that aside and me being more organic about it all, uh, I've been also taking a lot more liberties with Trove in general, you know, like I haven't had it as a more regular daily series on the channel or anything like that. And uh, because of it, I've been able to think about and experiment with different types of troll videos. But on top of that, I have become more and more inspired with the types of, you know, videos that I want to end up doing. Uh, you know, I've got some other projects that I'm hoping to end up tackling with you guys. Uh, and, you know, that's where also I kind of quit the console series for now, just because every time that I go into trying the console series out, I get completely burnt out, you know, and now I'm feeling a lot better about the decisions that I've been making and just the transparency that I have with you guys and being more honest with it. I, I know that this is a kind of preachy video and I don't mean to just ramble about the same topic over and over, but I, I want to kind of share this and get this point across uh, with all of this because uh, that's the thing is like I was saying with the Star Wars being a daily series and the Dragon Ball being a daily series except for today is that what I'm going to start doing with the Dragon Ball series in particular and this will happen with more future games as well is I, I think rather than trying to keep the Dragon Ball series daily and just new games daily instead the trade-off is gonna be that I'll give you guys longer videos but less frequent uh, because there was a while back that I already put out, uh, you know, I've been using the community uh, 
post spot on my YouTube channel to great success, I think, to set up polls and let you guys pretty much shape uh, and decide uh, and justify the decisions that I want to make with the channel. So, for example, I put a, a poll out like I think it was like a couple months ago already where I was asking if you guys preferred the amount of cuts that I was putting into my videos or would just rather have longer videos without edits. And that was a really, really big eye opener for me. Uh, and the criticism that I got from it was just, it was stupendous. Like I like that, I love the community that we have where you know, you guys help me stay level and help me kind of get put back into my place, you know, uh, kind of keep my ego in check, you know, because I've seen a lot of other channels where they just let it spiral out of control. And I can understand that if you're doing something and it's successful, you can get entrapped in that very easily in that oh, this mentality is good. Like there's a couple other channels that I, you know, I'm subscribed to and I watch their videos and I, I enjoy their content, but sometimes it feels like the character that they're portraying in their content, their persona, as it were, is, um, I don't know. It's like they let it go to their head. I'm not going to name names or anything in particular. I'm just trying to say that I, I've seen it happen with a lot of channels that I've been with for a long time. Uh, I guess one that I can mention in particular is uh, B00100, who is literally my inspiration for getting into YouTube in the first place. He was a Minecraft channel. Uh, you know, he's very strong family values, just a great, lovable person. Like he is what, uh, like a long time ago, like I, I aspire to be a person like him where it's just positivity and he's just, he's so wholesome. And uh, what ended up happening with this guy was he, you know, he kind of went where the views were. And unfortunately for a while, Minecraft was very unstable for content creators like himself and others. And he ended up kind of getting to this point where he was doing, you know what? I can be Shadowhunter. It's faster. He got to this point where he was uh, playing Minecraft with a lot of younger uh, guys and they were like swearing in their content and just stuff like that. And he was family friendly up to that point. But he kind of it kind of felt like he was becoming detached from what his audience expected because he was trying to fit into that niche audience that the others had. And, you know collaboration is pretty much the success story of YouTube. If you collab with other channels, you'll end up having their audience come over to you and vice versa, even though it's something that I never do because <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, I have the people that I get along with. I don't really give a shit about reaching out to other channels and trying to collab with a complete stranger. I mean, maybe at some point in the future, if there was ever anything I connected with, with people, but it's like with Trove, it's like, good luck with that. Um, you know, I did multiplayer videos with Joe in the past and it was just like, why am I doing this with somebody? Like, it's like, even with us, like there's literally nothing to talk about in this game. But anyways, I digress. So the point I was trying to make and by using B00100 as an example is he ended up stopping YouTube. He, he took a break for like a year or two. I was actually really disappointed and sad about it. And then suddenly more recently, he just came back and his videos are on fire, dude. Like he's so much more authentic uh, with the audience and stuff. And he's just doing more goofy shit in his videos. And I mean, he's got the advantage of something that I will hopefully get to do sometime in the future where he is not putting out videos every single day. Uh, he, I, I think he tries to do the best that he can, but he's a Minecrafter. So Minecraft is a very grindy game. He gets a lot done and then splices it all into one video, you know? And maybe there would be a point to doing something like that someday in the future for me. Uh, I think that I would love to have the opportunity of doing daily videos, like just one video a day instead of my usual two plus. Uh, but as of right now, I mean, in all honesty, I'm just playing so many fucking games that it's like if I just did one video a day, it just would never get done. And that's kind of why I made the decision to not have a Dragon Ball episode today, because in all honesty, with me trying to have Dragon Ball every single day, it means that there's no room for other videos. <laughs> so I kind of got to start optimizing my schedule a bit more where I still want to have these side, uh, you know, these main games be uh, relevant on the channel. And I was just wondering like, okay, well, how can I end up doing that? And the trade-off that I found is just, I'm going to experiment with having longer videos with less cuts and stuff like that. So anyways, the whole point I was trying to get at was that it was very inspiring to see that happen. And uh, with, you know, B-dubs doing something like that, I decided 
I want to be more authentic too. Fuck this, I, you know, because because otherwise I had this family friendly persona that I just had over my channel for years, and you know, constantly worrying about swearing and uh, just the content that I produce. You know, obviously only certain games would end up fitting on the channel and stuff like that. Like, for example, Doom Eternal is coming out in March. I am so fucking stoked about that game. But obviously, you know, despite the fact that a lot of people, a lot of you guys and gals that are watching my videos are stoked about it as well, obviously it doesn't really fit into the whole family friendly thing. I have to put warnings up and it's just, it was stressful, you know? So that's why I dumped that. That's why I decided I'm just gonna start swearing in my videos. Not because I want to like necessarily swear per se. It was just about being able to be more authentic with my content and with you guys. That's that's kind of the whole epitome of the thing that I'm trying to explain, which obviously I'm kind of going in circles here. So anyways, uh, the other games that I'm running on the channel, you guys may have noticed I actually quit Destiny. Uh, just for now, I do want to have more Destiny on the channel. And, uh, you know, I, I really enjoy that game. I still love playing it. But the point is that the other games that I'm playing are just funner. Like, I'm loving my WinCraft series with Joe. It's just so fun. Uh, and just in general, I'm kind of experimenting with the idea of doing some adventure maps. Like, uh, I noticed that there's a Hero Brines Mansion, like, remastered. So I might do a series of that with Joe as well. Uh, and just in general, uh, I'm I'm kind of also trying to uh, stock up on some videos. Uh, I'm not really doing it to great success, honestly speaking, because having two videos every day is difficult to do, especially with the amount of time that I'm putting into each of these videos. I know it might not seem like much of a deal uh, breaker for you guys, because I literally am just like, here's an unedited video, but you know, the amount of time that it takes to end up doing all this stuff. Like my Dragon Ball episodes, for example, those take me like three or four hours to produce because I have to obviously record it, but then I have to edit it, wait for it to render, and then wait for it to upload as well. And then I have to make thumbnails and everything else for it, uh, which usually ha means I have to kind of scour through the video and try to find a spot that's kind of interesting. This is just... This is just YouTube in general. I'm not trying to complain about it. I'm just trying to say that this is the way that it is, you know? Did we get this quest complete? Yeah, I think we did. Uh, so let's go fight a T-Rex, you, co you coward. So with all of that aside, uh, and the games that I'm enjoying and just focusing more on the games that I'm enjoying and stocking up on videos like I mentioned uh, in February, the later half of February, I think we're leaving on like the 17th or something like that. Uh, Mariko and I are actually going to Japan for two weeks. I'm fucking excited. I have never been to Japan in my life. Uh, I think I've only ever been like there's Canada and then outside of Canada, I think I've only ever been to the US. So I'm really excited for the idea that we're going to be in a foreign country. Um, even though I'm not gonna be able to speak Japanese at all, but she can. I wanna, it still is the dream that one day I'll like actually dedicate the time to studying Japanese, but it's like, I don't know, too long didn't read is kind of my thought process towards it right now, what can I say? Um, but I know that I have to study it eventually because it's like I wanna be able to speak to her in her native language and then, you know, it's just, yeah. Um, so anyways, we're gonna be going to Japan for two weeks super duper stoked about it But at the same time, it's the longest break that I've ever taken uh, You guys may have noticed that PewDiePie, you know top youtuber who doesn't know him uh, Ended up taking a break as well and I noticed that in his videos like I relate to him a lot as a content creator obviously you know my content isn't like as big as his or anything like that but i'm finding that a lot of the emotions that he deals with i actually very strongly morally agree with and the stuff that he's going through as well like there was one thing uh, the way that he put it I, I really enjoyed where he was saying how, you know, as a content creator and putting out videos every single day, he, even when he goes on vacation, he stocks up on videos and could only take a vacation that maybe was like over the course of a weekend or even a week. So that's why he's taking a bigger break. Now I'm supposed to fight a T-Rex, you coward. Why am I doing dungeons? And so he's kind of taking a bigger break now where we don't know when he's going to be back, which is perfectly fine. I don't think it's going to do bad for his channel at all, but that's the thing is, what I mentioned earlier about the YouTube numbers, it gets in your head, you know, and you start worrying about all this shit. You start worrying because because with YouTube, literally, when you stop making videos, you're not making money. That's pretty much how it works, right? So you're constantly under the pressure of having to work, 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 work. And thus vacation time is just something that 
doesn't happen often. And when, you know, Mariko wanted to go to Japan and I promised her that we would go this year in 2020 and you know, I've got all, I, I had all these mental blocks where it's like, you know, I, you know, I can't take a vacation for more than a week, babe, if that. And then it's like, no, fuck it. We're just going to take a two week break. I'll stock up on as many videos as I can. Um, and then if I don't get enough videos for those two weeks, well, then so what? There's going to be a couple days where you guys are not going to end up seeing any videos. And so like, who cares? Because, I, you know, we're going to do a vlog out there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm hopefully trying to set it up that uh, like I'm really hoping that I can end up editing some vlogs while we're out there and uploading them while we're out there but obviously we're gonna be in a hotel so the internet might not be the best for uploads or anything like that but I do still hope that I can have kind of a connection with you guys at the same time it's gonna be a vacation so it's like I'm not gonna be like super duper oh i have to i have to get on every single day i have to read every single comment and stuff like that it's like you know i'll, I'll get what i can done like i've despite the fact that youtube can end up being stressful i have always excelled at uh for lack of a better phrase putting the work second to my own personal mental health uh, except for you know with uh, more recently within the following months, which is why I ended up changing the uh, channel over to being just swearing and stuff like that. Anyways, now I'm just rambling. Uh, I think I got my points across tenfold, honestly speaking. Uh, quit Destiny, loving Win uh, Windcraft, uh, might do some more uh, adventure maps. I don't care what you guys say. I want to do a series on that VR Walking Dead game that I uh, did a video on the other day because, ooh, that game's fun, and I'm just loving VR in general. Uh, I'm also working on trying to get, there's a side program called Vorpex, I think. I don't know much about it, but you guys know how I had a VR video on Trove back in the day and basically what it did was just put like a giant screen in front of my face and then I could look around in VR, but I was essentially just looking at a giant monitor. So what this Vorp X program, as far as I know does, is it actually adds head tracking so I could kind of more authentically play games in VR that don't technically support VR. So we might see a redux to me doing that with Trove uh, and if I end up doing something like that, if I can work it out, because there's a lot of customization that has to go into it, then there is the possibility that I'll take more suggested comments about other games that I want to try out in VR, like Destiny and stuff like that, you know, because first person shooters obviously are going to work wonders with it. Um, and then also I have another stream that I did the other day of Grand Theft Auto in VR that I had a lot of fun with that hopefully you guys will end up finding entertaining. Anyways, this video is long enough. Uh, this is also, I promise you guys, we're going to be doing some giveaways again. Finally, that's why I wanted to do uh, this main character again. Today we're actually going to be giving away a Chaos Hound. So let me actually show you what this sucker is. Uh, the Chaos Hound is a very, very rare item you can get out of the Chaos. Just back in the day, this was like extremely coveted. Actually, you know what? Even though this mount was always dope, I, I, I found it very strange that even back in the day when people found this out of the Chaos just nobody really wanted it. Like, myself included, I think that it's awesome just because I really like the colors and everything like that, but I think this is an example of too much. So it's like so fucking weird that I just don't think people really cared about it. I mean, obviously now, you know, Chaos Just items aren't tradable anymore, so we'll slowly end up running out of prizes to give away. But all that I ask is you guys smash like and be sub to the channel, uh, and then leave a comment down below uh, talking about... I don't know, what's what's one of your favorite experiences with Trove or something like that? You don't gotta make like a huge ass paragraph of it, but obviously if you're just leaving a comment that says, give me the prize, uh, you know, your chances of actually getting the prize are less likely. Cause I'm gonna read through the comments and pick somebody out myself. Uh, and then basically what's gonna happen is I'll leave a reply to you, letting you know, join my discord, send me a message, uh, and then we'll, we'll try and sort it out. Giving away prizes is a bit of a tricky, uh, it's a bit tricky to do. Maybe I'll end up using a middleman uh, to end up trading it to you guys just because I'm not always online with Trove, though I am in my Discord a lot. And then other than that, smash like in general if you enjoyed the video, regardless. <laughs> I know I'm repeating myself now. Have yourselves a great day. Really appreciate you guys watching. And the fact that you've stayed around with the channel for as long as you have, you know, even though Trove's kind of losing its popularity, what have you. Like, I, I really do appreciate 
being able to do what I love for a living. It's just, what am I going to do? Have every single video go, thank you guys for not making me homeless. Like, it's like, you know, I can't, uh, there was an, another YouTuber, the Russian Badger, right? Uh, I watched one of his videos and he actually put it very elegantly. Uh, I haven't seen other YouTubers uh, say that. And I really liked his example where lots of YouTubers put themselves up in the audience below. And what he was saying is that, uh, and, and I agree with this, where, no, I'm down here dancing and trying to make you guys laugh. You're the ones that are up here that I'm trying to seek the approval of by making you know videos that you guys enjoy, obviously. Well, still a very high priority is videos that I enjoy as well. And then hopefully you guys are just attracted to that because of my personal personality. Anyways, who gives a shit? Sign on, stay up at gamers.